good first day. You know, we uh, just trying to get our guys to play hard, play with some pace. We thought they were giving a good effort. It's a little sloppy for the first day, but it's expected. It's more and more important that we get effort out of them. And I think we're getting pretty good effort. It's long. I mean, we did a condition, what we, I guess you would call it a skills workout yesterday, but it was the first time we could actually use the full line of time. It's a lot longer than what they're used to going, but I thought we did a pretty good job. You know, after, from, really from the freshman up to the juniors, you know, we, we've only got the one senior on the field, and he's you know, we got his shoulder cleaned up a little bit over the summer. He's not uh, cleared yet. He'll be cleared in a couple weeks, but he's the only senior on the roster, so to have you know, the juniors we got, I think our freshmen are giving us good minutes, and you know, our underclassmen will be good. I mean, we, we practice a little bit differently. We try to make it really competitive. They lose, you know, play a bunch of short, quick games to keep it competitive. They lose the game, we got to run a sprint. So it's a different way. We don't actually run sprints to get in shape, but we do all the drills for really high pace, and we got to run to lose. So we'll get the guys in shape by the time the season, uh, first game comes around. They're not, they're not there yet, but kind of part of the whole process. Yeah, Galen was uh, good, and then he, he rolled his ankle, tweaked it a little bit uh, early before you guys got to practice. I uh, think we were a lot, a lot more fresh before you guys got in here, but I think you got the end when they were a little tired. But Galen, he rolled his ankle today. He's day to day. He, he may be back tomorrow from what Clark said. Do you have an update on Devon? You know, if everything's submitted, we're just waiting on the NCAA, so hopefully we hear something sooner than later. But no, no update as of now. Yeah, so her, uh, her practice yesterday and her skills worked out, but he used uh, his shoulder, kind of a nagging injury he's got, so Clark held him out today just to get him a day recovery. He's day-to-day -day and I anticipate he'll be back tomorrow. If not tomorrow, he'll be back the following day. Is that there, you know, really all the assistants are uh, going through the, the push-ups with is that just something that you It's not anything I make them do. It's them uh, wanting to get a little quick workout in practice. So, I, so, so the way we do practice, if you if you win the game, you play game to eight or whatever, you know, two stops, or however it is. If you win, you go to the free throw line, shoot a free throw. If you make the free throw, it goes on the board for a win for the day. If you miss the free throw, you got to do 10 push ups. If you lose the game, you'll, you'll spread down and back. So the coaches, if the kid misses the free throw, do 10 with the team. If the kid hits the free throw, they've been doing five. We're trying to keep practice fast pace. I'm going to have to tell them they got to get the push-ups done real fast, so we got to get on to the next drill. So, yeah, that, that's all of them. I don't, I'm not making anybody do push-ups. Yeah, I think that we did that at Buffalo. I used to do them, but I, I, got to, I got to get on to the next drill faster now. So, maybe once everybody's got it down a little faster, I'll jump back in with them. You've had the freshman in both positions. You know what? I, I think I think their effort's been great. So I mean, we got four of them. You know, Jaden and uh, Jalen, the two guards. Jalen, Jalen seems like just the whole pace of college. Maybe he's a little bit sluggish. I've talked to him about getting getting better rest, getting better treatment from Clark. But he, like their attitudes are great. But you know, Shaq's Shaq's been real good. Like his his body was ready for college. His, Stamina was ready, like we did field, field two max testing uh, the other day with Coach Snowden. He was at the top, like he, he's he's in great shape and goes really hard. You know his deal is he's used to being by far and away the best player on his team. So now he's just got to learn to play with four other really good players. So sometimes in high school, him shooting a bad shot was the best shot his team's gonna get in high school. That's not the case here. So that's but his attitude's been great. He's learning how to make, make the reads and stuff. Forbes will get there. He, he, he took a big charge in the defensive drill earlier. I, I, I love both their attitudes. Jawan's playing really hard. I mean, I think you guys were in here. He had a couple blocks in transition. He's just so athletic and he's, his physicality gives us something. Ray's, Ray's got big upside. He's, you know, he's behind Galen, behind Javian. We can even play Reese up at the five. So he's kind of behind all those guys, but he's, he's got upside. He makes plays. Here and there where he shows you the clubs, how good he could be, and he puts it all together. What do you envision 
taking the role that Rojas is going to play. I mean, Reese was already going to be there. You know, I don't know that Rojas really never got. When he got to us, he was banged up already. He had some ankle issues. And Clark was, he never really went through a full workout with us. So I never got to see him healthy with our guys. I don't know if he would have started or not. That would have had to been determined. But, you know, Reese is already kind of our perfect four because he can shoot it and space the floor and he's playing really well. So Reese is going to play minutes there. And then we, we played smaller in Buffalo where we bumped out. I mean, if you looked at the teams we started the last two years there, we either started two point guards and a combo guard or two or a point guard and two combo guards. And then we played a six seven two guard and Jeremy Harris kind of at the four. Well, Herb Jones can play the four. Petty's got size, can bump down. Like those guys can bump down when we play small. We can also go big and put JV in a little bit at the four because Rowhouse is really going to play like the four for us because we want to play more skilled. JVM's getting pretty skilled playing on the perimeter a little bit, but I would anticipate us playing a little bit smaller because we got more depth at the guard spot. You get Beetle cleared, you've got Shabrafer, Forbes, Kyra, Quinterly gets cleared. So then if you bump down and play Herb, JP down, down, you know, then we're playing a little smaller, which is the way I like to play anyways. More athleticism and speed and perimeter play on the floor. And so I, I would anticipate that kind of being the case the way we play. Have you seen the team kind of the behind the scenes kind of? I think that stuff's been great. I think getting everybody here in the summer, you know, Rojas was the only one that missed, and now he's not able to play. So we've gone through a whole summer together. We kind of did that team retreat, boot camp, whatever you want to call it. We thought that gave us a huge jump start on in the fall. And then I think guys are learning to, you know, they're getting in the gym on their own. I mean, look, a lot of guys stay up to practice and shoot, and you're going to see a lot of guys come back in. They've got different groups that they come in with, but they, I think, I think it's been pretty good. I mean, you'll have to ask them. They're the ones that have to hang out with each other. They give you a lot more honest answer. I, I think it's pretty good. It's still got some work to go, but we're, we're getting there. But great, great question. Guys. Let's do one more question, guys. They don't have one, AJ. Good. All right. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it.